Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Fitz1 TV here, aka G Lauren33. And as you guys can see, we got the official trailer for My Hero Academia Season 4. It released earlier this morning, like very early this morning. I did a reaction to the trailer. If you guys haven't seen it yet, that video is live on my channel. But in this video, we're going to be breaking down this trailer. And for all my fans out there, especially the ones that know that I cover anime, expect a lot of My Hero Academia videos going forward as we get close and closer to season four as we get more details I'll be making a lot more my hero academia videos all right so, you know I, I I still have Dragon Ball number one but there's not too much Dragon Ball news going on right now because you know one piece is very big and you know we got one punch man going on but as we get close to the fall we're gonna get more Dragon Ball news and you know my hero so it's gonna be very very exciting but we're focusing on my hero right now we got the season 4 trailer and right now it is pretty hype a lot of fans and I don't read the my hero manga I've seen a couple chapters but I've never really read it I might but we know that basically one of the big things that people are looking forward to we know that we're getting this new my hero academia movie somewhere near probably near the end of this year not early 2020 we're getting this um the adaptation of the c hazakai arc i don't know if i said that correctly but i heard it's one of the most intense arcs in the my hero academia manga so a lot of fans are very excited to see this manga come or, yeah, see this manga art come to the anime. So, I'm excited to see it because a lot of fans have told me that it's very exciting. But, let's get through this trailer. So, we know one of the big things that are going on is All Might retired in tra um, Season 3. Remember that huge battle he had with All for One. And, he's retired now. But, he, he's just a professor at UA High. He has, you know, Midoriya as his successor. And, we also know that Kachan Bakuo, he knows now that Midoriya, Midoriya now is the successor to All Might. And, we see that relationship play up a little bit in Season 3. It's going to be interesting to see how that relationship continues to develop in um, Season 4. But, the, the one of the big things that's going on is now that All Might is retired, you know, he a lot of and especially the League of Villains, they're seeing this as their grand opportunity to take the world over because the, before everyone was so afraid of All Might that the League of Villains they are afraid to do anything because if All Might appeared, he would always foil their plans. Now that All Might is officially retired, now the League of Villains believe that this is their this is their best chance to strike. And the world is kind of in chaos because now they're looking who's going to be that number one hero. Who's going to take All Might's place? There's rumors saying, you know, Endeavor, he was the number two hero to All Might for so many years. But can he really live up to the legacy that All Might has left? <laughs> And you guys can see, you know, Japan's a mess right now. You know, more and more villains are appearing. And you, you kind of see this in One Punch Man's um, Season 2. More and more villains are appearing because now these villains believe that this is their best chance to strike. All Might is no longer here. So, you know, let's strike while we have the chance and do as much, you know, danger as we can. So we we all know he um who this is. We he he was introduced with the rest of the big three at the end of season three. And based on everything that's been teased so far, we know that um Mirio Togata, him and um Midoriya, they're gonna be working together a lot in this um season. They've been you guys seen the posters for season four, the teasers we've gotten so far. They're teasing a lot, and we know that the big three they were introduced at the very end of season three, but. We know that the big three, they're going to play a major role in Season 4 of My Hero Academia. Their character designs were leaked um, a couple days ago. And now we, we've seen the big three in their full hero costumes. We don't know their hero names as of right now. But, you know, probably as we get a little bit closer to the Season 4's premiere, we'll probably get there. And remember, what we know so far is Season 3. Four is supposed, even though season four, the official release date is October 12th, and it's going to be streaming on Funimation at the same time that it's streaming in Japan. But the the thing is, um, it's going to be premiering the first episode of My Hero Academia season four will be premiering at San Diego Comic Con in July. 
And getting back into this, we can see Kachan, he we we know that his relationship with Midoriya, they're they're on better terms with each other and now they're kinda of like rivals. It's kind of like a Goku and Vegeta scenario in a way. Uh, and it's gonna be very interesting to see. You know, Kacha, he still has that cocky attitude, of course, but he wants to be a hero, just like All Might. So it's gonna be interesting to see how he develops as season four progresses. We also know our boy Todoroki; he's still at it as well. So, in my opinion, the big three of Class One A, uh, Midoriya, Kachan, and Todoroki, they're gonna continue being, you know, the cream of the cup. And it's gonna be interesting to see how they develop into season four. So we see Midoriya, um, or Ziggy Midori. We see um, he he has more of a burden on himself more than ever now that All Might's retired. He feels that he has to carry on that legacy more and more and more. And All Might trying to teach him, but it's different now. All Might's retired, and he can barely transform into his hero form for more than a couple seconds. And he says something pretty cool here. I can't put in the same effort like everyone else I have to go above and you know above and beyond he has to go plus ultra and it's gonna be very interesting to see you know how his style develops remember at the end of season three he was really getting the hang of that shoot style and it's gonna be interesting to see how that continues because we know he can't really use his arms because that's not gonna really work out for him And we see here he's channeling all for one, or one for all. I'm always messing those two up, but he's channeling one for all. And we know a lot of fans are um, excited for this character, Sir Night Eye. He's a big character in the manga. A lot of fans are excited that he's finally being brought over to the anime. We do know that he was All Might's sidekick way back in the day. And it's going to be very interesting to see, you know, We'll probably get some flashbacks to the days of when all my... Of course, I'm getting calls when I'm recording. Um, But it's going to be very interesting to see you, you, the flashbacks of All Might and Sir Night Eye, them working together back in the day and see why did they fall, what happened. And now that All Might is gone, you know, I think it's going to be cool to see Sir Night Eye probably give advice to Midoriya because we know something um Sir Night Eye's quirk is he's able to see the future so he maybe he'll give um Midoriya some secrets of what his future is going to be and that's going to help Midoriya on his path to becoming the number one hero <laughs> And we see here we got the League of Villains. We have, you know, the new villains and the old villains. And now they're, as I said earlier, they're looking. This is their chance to strike. There's no top hero or dictator to lead the good or the bad. And we know this is Overhaul. And we believe he's probably going to be the main baddie of Season 4 that the heroes are going to go up against. And we know he wants to take over Japan. He wants to take over society. And the way he plans to do it is through this little girl, which we'll see in just a sec. This girl. And I, I like I said, I haven't read the manga. Maybe you guys can give some clues in the comment section down below without spoiling anything. But, you know, we believe she's going to be a major part of, you know, season four and we can tell she's a scared little girl she's probably not evil maybe she has some demon power you know inside of her as her quirk but we know that she you know overhaul wants to use her as the key to take over society and we can see she has that horn right there i i i I'm, i don't know much about this character but it's gonna be interesting and we can see her, you know, right now she's clinching on to Midoriya. So definitely she's going to be looking to Midoriya and some of these other Class 1A heroes for help. Because you can tell she does not want to be bad. But, you know, maybe she's being possessed. Maybe she's being forced to do this stuff out of her own will. It's going to be interesting to see. And then we see, we saw Midoriya. He was in full hero costume. Let me see if I can go back real quick. Yeah, as you guys can see right there, he's he's in full hero costume, which we don't see a lot of these days. His outfit is usually always getting wrecked. 
here, but here we go. Um, we got Muriel right there in his full hero costume. And we know he's ridiculously strong. And here we have the rest of the big three as they're going to be key members to season four of My Hero Academia. And here we have All Might. He, we know he's going to continue giving advice to Midoriya as his successor. And we can see some of the other class um, 1A heroes. They're going to be in battle as well. One of the great things, like I always say, that is so good about My Hero Academia. It develops all the characters. And not just about two or three main characters. Like in Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball, most of the time, it's mainly about Goku and Vegeta. Um, but, you know, My Hero, all the characters get developed. Not, I'm not going to say not equal development, most of the characters get um, good development throughout the series. And one of the things I love about My Hero Academia. So we'll continue to see Class 1A as they grow into true heroes. And a lot of these heroes now, a lot of them have their licenses. Alright, they don't have full hero licenses. But it's kind of like, you know, um, to make an analogy to real life, it's like, a you know 16 70 year old that gets their permit and then you know they pass their road test and then they get their jol and then when they're 18 they're able to get their full license in a way so th that's what the heroes of you know my hero academia are going through right now and it's going to be very interesting to see how that goes throughout the season so there we have it that's the trailer for My Hero Academia Season 4. You, we can see, and I, I'm excited. Once again, you guys know I don't read the manga. I might um, after seeing this video. I mean, after seeing this trailer. But I'm very excited for My Hero Academia Season 4. I hope you guys are as well. It's very exciting. It looks like it's going to be very intense. We know it's going to be premiering at Comic-Con in July. But it'll make its official TV release on October 12th and I cannot wait and then we got the new movie coming out most likely early next year and a lot to look forward to if you if you're a fan of My Hero Academia only a couple months away other than that is what all I got for you guys today let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of the new trailer for My Hero Academia season 4 let me know how excited you guys are for this season what are you looking forward to most um, other than that, if there's any new news on Season 4, I will make sure to get that information to you guys via another video or social media. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe on this video. If you guys are new to the channel, enable notifications by clicking the bell right next to my name, Fitzwing TV. So you guys are notified every time I post a new video. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day, guys. Peace.